Welcome to Performance Center 9. This version of Performance Center includes an enhanced load test scheduler. Using the new scheduler, you can emulate load behavior patterns that simulate real-life application behavior. For example, you can schedule 20 virtual users or vusers to use an application during a given 10-minute time period. After 10 minutes, you can start running another 30 vusers, have all the vusers run together for 20 minutes, and then schedule them to stop running. The new scheduler controls these kinds of patterns by controlling how many vusers to run and their load patterns. When you define a schedule for your load test, you can define how many vusers to run at a time and the rate at which to load them. This is an enhancement to previous versions of the scheduler where you could define only the rate at which to load the selected vusers. Let's schedule a load test using the new scheduler. We'll open the Manage Load Tests page in the user site and create a load test that will represent the pattern in the example we just mentioned. In the Load Tests page, we click the New Load Test button. In the General tab, we fill in the load test details. In the Groups tab, we control the number of load generators and the scripts that take part in the load test. Note that in contrast to previous versions, the user quantity for each group is no longer defined in the Quantity column of the Groups grid, but rather in the Scheduler tab itself, as we will see shortly. We will use one load generator with the Flight Demo script. Switch to the Scheduler tab. Note the new layout of this view. On the left, we configure the scheduler details and the scheduler actions. The Actions grid contains the default load test schedule. We will redefine this schedule shortly. The graph on the right is a graphical display of the schedule actions defined in the scheduler grid. Let's continue with configuring our load test. We will now define the load pattern for the vUser group that we selected for the load test. Configure the load test start time with a delay or without a delay. There are two types of load test schedules. We can schedule our load test by vUser group, that is, each vUser group will run on its own defined schedule, or we can create one schedule for the whole load test. Let's create one schedule for the whole load test. We also need to select a mode for running our load test, real life or run until complete. A load test that runs in real life mode runs according to a set of actions that emulate real life load behavior. That is, we can define how many vusers to run, how often to start running them, and when to stop running them. We can also run more vusers at any point during the load test. Running a load test until complete runs the participating vUser groups according to the number of iterations in their runtime settings, and when all vUsers have finished running their defined courses, the load test ends. To emulate the behavior that we described earlier, let's choose the real-life schedule mode. Now we define the load behavior of the vUsers. Let's start running 20 vUsers for a duration of 10 minutes. We can use the default schedule actions as a basis for our schedule and then edit the existing actions. The initialize action in the grid displays the initialization method. We will not change it. Click the start vUsers action in the actions grid. You can now define the action details. Change the vUser quantity to 20. Let's also schedule 5 vUsers to run every 15 seconds. Click the Apply button to save the changes. The changes we just made are reflected in the scheduler graph. Next, we'll edit the period that the vUsers are to run. Click the Duration action and set the vUsers to run for 10 minutes. Remember to click Apply after configuring any action in order to apply the changes. At this stage, we have a basic schedule that runs 20 vUsers for a steady duration of 10 minutes and then stops them at the end. Just as we modified the rate at which to start the vUsers, we can modify the rate at which to stop them. The quantity of vUsers that we defined in the Start vUsers action is displayed in the Design Groups tab in the Number of vUsers column.
Now let's make the load test more interesting. Let's change the load test so that after the 20 V users have run for 10 minutes, 30 more V users join the load test all at the same time. This means we will have 50 V users running in total. We will let them run for 20 minutes and then have them gradually stop running. Let's start by adding the additional 30 V users. In the Actions grid, we select the Duration action and click Start V users. We select the Start V users action that we added, set 30 V users to start running simultaneously, and apply the action to the schedule. Note the peak displayed in the graph. Now let's add one more action that will run all 50 V users together for a duration of 20 minutes. We click Add Action and choose Duration to set the V users to run for 20 minutes. Let's look at the schedule graph. When the load test is started, the scheduler will gradually start running 20 V users. 10 minutes later, 30 more V users will start running simultaneously, such that 50 V users will be running all together. These V users will run for 20 minutes, after which they will all gradually stop running. Note how when we click on an action in the graph, the corresponding action in the grid is highlighted, and vice versa. You can also use the schedule graph to delete actions or split actions of the schedule. This demonstration has shown you how to use Performance Center's new scheduler feature to create a more true-to-life schedule for your load test. To learn more about this feature, see the HP Performance Center User's Guide.